Barbarian. You have the power to loot and pillage. As the offense, after you win an encounter but before compensation, if any is collected, use this power to loot your opponent's cards. Take your opponent's hand and look at it. For each ship you have in the encounter, you may choose one card from your opponent's hand and add it to your own. Afterwards, discard the remainder of your opponent's hand. Chosen. You have the power of divine intervention. As a main player, after revealing your encounter cards, you may use this power to pray for divine intervention once per encounter. To do so, draw three cards from the deck. If none are encounter cards, discard them and there is no further effect. If you draw any encounter cards, you may choose one of the drawn encounter cards to replace your revealed encounter card, which is then discarded. If you have revealed an attack card and choose another attack card for divine intervention, the new card may either replace or add its value to the value of your revealed attack card, your choice. All other cards drawn for divine intervention are then discarded and the encounter is resolved with the new card or card value. Clone. You have the power to replicate. As a main player, after the encounter is resolved, and after any compensation is claimed, you may use this power to return your encounter card to your hand instead of discarding it. Cudgel. You have the power to smash. As a main player, when you win an encounter in which you revealed an attack card, use this power to force your opponent to lose extra ships of his or her choice equal to the number of ships you had in the encounter in addition to any ships he or she would normally lose. Filch. You have the power of theft. As a main player, after encounter cards are discarded at the end of an encounter, you may use this power to retrieve your opponent's card from the discard pile and add it to your hand. Hacker. You have the power to hack. As a main player, when collecting compensation, you may use this power to choose the player that you are collecting compensation from, whether that player was your opponent or not. You then look through that player's hand and choose the cards you want for compensation. In addition, when your opponent collects compensation from you, you may use this power to select the cards he or she gets. Loser. You have the power of upset. As a main player, before encounter cards are selected, you may use this power to declare an upset. Once an upset has been declared, both main players must play attack cards if possible. Then, after cards are revealed, the winning side loses and the losing side wins. This occurs after all other game effects are resolved, such as the human's power being zapped. Macron. You have the power of mass. When you are the offense, use this power before launching ships in an encounter. When you are an ally, use this power after allies are invited. If you are the offense or an ally, you may only send one ship into the encounter. As a main player or an ally, use this power after encounter cards are revealed. Each of your ships adds four to your side's total in the encounter instead of one. Miser. Game Setup. You were dealt two separate eight card hands. Look at them and choose one to be your hoard. Place it face down on this sheet. You have the power to hoard. Whenever you wish to play a card, you may use this power to play a card from your hoard instead of your normal hand. You may not add cards you gain to your hoard, and other players may not look at or draw cards from your hoard. If there are no encounter cards left in your hoard, you may reveal it, then discard it and get a new eight card hoard. Mutant. You have the power to regenerate. As a main player, before allies are invited, you may use this power if you have fewer than 8 cards to refill your hand. To do this, you draw cards one at a time at random from any player or from the deck. Draw until you have a full hand of 8 cards. Observer. You have the power to protect. As an ally, whenever you should lose ships to the warp, use this power to instead return them to any of your colonies and keep using them. As a main player, when any of your allies should lose ships to the warp, use this power to instead allow your allies to return them to any of their colonies of their choice. Oracle. You have the power to foresee. As a main player, before encounter cards are selected, use this power to force your opponent to play his or her encounter card face up. Only after you have seen your opponent's card do you select and play your card. Pacifist. You have the power of peace. 
As a main player, if you reveal a negotiate card and your opponent reveals an attack card, use this power to win the encounter. If you both reveal negotiate cards, you attempt to make a deal as usual. Parasite. You have the power to infest. Unless specifically prevented by another game effect, such as the force field artifact, when it is your turn to ally, you may use this power to ally, sending one to four ships as usual, with one side in an encounter as if you had been invited, even when you were not. Reserve. You have the power to reinforce. As a main player or ally, after encounter cards are revealed, you may use this power to play one or more attack cards of six or less from your hand as if they were reinforcement cards of their listed value. As a main player or ally, when another player plays a reinforcement card, you may use this power and discard a negotiate card to cancel and discard that reinforcement card. Sorcerer. You have the power of magic. As a main player, after encounter cards are selected, but before they are revealed, you may use this power to switch encounter cards with your opponent so that he or she reveals your card and you reveal your opponent's card. Spiff. You have the power to crash land. As the offense, when you lose an encounter, if both players reveal attack cards and you lost the encounter by 10 or more, you may use this power to land one of your ships that would otherwise be lost to the warp on the winning defensive planet. The ship coexists with the ships already there. This power does not allow you to coexist in places or with aliens that state otherwise. Traitor. You have the power of transference. As a main player, before encounter cards are selected, you may use this power to trade hands with your opponent. You each then keep the new hand. Vacuum. You have the power of catharsis. Whenever you lose ships to the warp, use this power to take along up to an equal number of other ships. You specify which players must lose them and how many each player must lose. The targeted players decide which colony or colonies the ships are taken from. Ships lost to the vacuum this way are in addition to any ships normally lost in an encounter. Vulch. You have the power to salvage. Whenever any other player discards an artifact card, whether after playing it or not, use this power to add the artifact to your hand. Any artifact card you play are discarded as normal and cannot be salvaged. If you draw a new hand, you keep your old artifacts after revealing them, then draw eight new cards in addition to the artifacts. Warrior. You have the power of mastery. After an encounter in which you were a main player, add one token to this sheet if you won that encounter, or made a deal during it, or two tokens if you lost that encounter, or failed to make a deal during it. In either case, add one additional token if playing with four planets per player. As a main player, after you reveal an attack card in an encounter, use this power to add one to your total for each token you have on this sheet. Tokens are not discarded from this sheet after doing so. Will. You have the power of choice. As the offense, after you draw from the Destiny deck, use this power to encounter any alien on any planet of your choice, instead of encountering the alien mandated by the drawn Destiny card. For example, you could choose to encounter the virus ships on the Mind's planet, even if you were actually directed to have an encounter with the Oracle by the Destiny card. Any other effects caused by the drawn Destiny card still take place as usual. Zombie. You have the power of immortality. Whenever you should lose ships to the warp, use this power to instead return them to any of your colonies and keep using them. In addition, you may free any player's ships from the warp back to any colonies he or she has as part of a deal. Amoeba. You have the power to ooze. As a main player, after encounter cards are selected, but before they are revealed, if you have at least one ship in the encounter, you may use this power to increase or decrease the number of ships you have in the encounter. You may remove some or all of your ships to your colonies, or you may add as many ships as you want, even exceeding the normal maximum of four, from any of your colonies. If you win the encounter but have no ships left in it, you cannot receive a colony. Antimatter you have the power of negation. As a main player, after both you and your opponent reveal attack cards, use this power to make the lower total win. Furthermore, when this power is used, your ships as well as any offensive and defensive allies' ships are subtracted from the appropriate side's card. Your opponent's total is otherwise figured normally, however. Calculator. You have the power to equalize. As a main player, after cards are selected, 
but before they are revealed, you may use this power to declare an equalize. If you do so and both cards are revealed to be attack cards, the value of the higher card is reduced by the value of the lower card. Thus, if an attack 15 and an attack 8 are played, the 15 has its value reduced to 7, but the 8 keeps its value of 8. The encounter is then concluded normally. Fido. You have the power to fetch. After encounter cards are discarded at the end of an encounter, you may use this power to retrieve one of the discarded cards and offer it to another player. If the card is refused, you may keep it. If the card is accepted, the other player keeps the card. Then you may either retrieve one ship from the warp or draw one card from the deck. Fodder. You have the power to overwhelm. As a main player, you may use this power after both you and your opponent reveal attack cards in an encounter. You may discard any or all attack cards in your hand that are both higher than the attack card you played and lower than the attack card played by your opponent, adding their value to your total. Hate. You have the power of rage. At the start of your turn, use this power to force every player to either discard a card or lose ships. First, choose and discard a card from your hand. Every other player must then choose to either discard a card of the same type, attack, negotiate, artifact, etc., or else lose three ships of your choice to the warp. If you discard an attack card, your opponents must discard an attack card of equal or higher value. If an opponent has no cards of the discarded type, he or she must lose ships instead. If, after using this power, you do not have any encounter cards in your hand, draw a new hand. Healer. You have the power to heal. When another player loses ships to the warp, or has ships removed from the game, you may use this power to return to that player all the ships he or she just lost and earn one card from the deck. Being healed does not prevent a player from receiving compensation. A healed player replaces his or her ships on any of his or her colonies. During an encounter, you may heal several players, drawing one card for each. Human. You have the power of humanity. As a main player or ally, after encounter cards are revealed, use this power to add four to your side's total. If this power is zapped, however, your side automatically wins the encounter. Kamikaze. You have the power of sacrifice. As a main player, before encounter cards are selected, you may use this power to send up to four of your ships from any of your colonies to the warp. For every ship that you sent to the warp, draw two cards from the deck. If this power is zapped, you do not lose the sacrificed ships to the warp. Mind. You have the power of knowledge. Before allies are invited in any encounter, you may use this power to look at the entire hand of one of the main players. If you are a main player, you may look at your opponent's hand. You may not tell any other players what cards you see in a player's hand using this power. Mirror. You have the power of reversal. As a main player, after encounter cards are selected, but before they are revealed, you may use this power to call for a reversal. This changes the value of any attack cards that are revealed in this encounter by reversing their digits. For example, this would make an attack 15 into a 51, a 20 into a 2, and an 8 into an 80. Resolve the encounter using these reversed values. Might. You have the power to bluster. As the offense, before allies are invited, if the defense has more than 3 cards in hand, use this power to bluster. The defense must either discard down to 3 cards at random, or let you establish a colony on the targeted world. If the defense gives you a colony, land any ships you have in the hyperspace gate on the targeted planet. They coexist with the defense's ships, which do not go to the warp, and the encounter immediately ends successfully. If the defense discards down to three cards at random, the encounter continues normally. Philanthropist. You have the power of giving. As a main player or ally, after alliances are formed, you may use this power to give one card from your hand to either main player, your opponent if you are a main player. Your opponent immediately adds the card to his or her hand and may play it normally. If, after using this power, you do not have any encounter cards in your hand, and you are a main player, you draw a new hand. Reincarnator. You have the power of reincarnation. As a main player or ally, when you lose an encounter or fail to deal, use this power to reincarnate. Draw an alien power card at random from the unused pile and become that alien. If the alien has game setup text, or is not allowed in the current game, draw again. If you lose a later encounter, discard that alien and draw a new one. This power stays with you while you use the others. 
Aliens with the power to copy your power may do so, copying both your reincarnator power and whatever power you are reincarnated as. But if they lose an encounter while doing so, they must reincarnate, losing their original power. Remora. You have the power to cling. Whenever another player retrieves one or more ships from the warp, you may use this power to retrieve one of your ships from the warp as well. You may not retrieve a ship from the warp during the same encounter in which it went to the warp. Whenever another player draws one or more cards from the deck, you may use this power to draw one card from the deck as well. Shadow. You have the power to execute. Whenever any other player's color or a special destiny card that targets another player is drawn from the destiny deck, use this power to choose one of that player's ships from any colony of your choice and send it to the warp. On a wild destiny card, you may execute one ship belonging to any other player, regardless of who the offense chooses to attack. Tick Tock Game Setup Place 10 tokens on this sheet, 8 if playing with 4 planets per player. You have the power of patience. Each time any player wins an encounter as the defense or a successful deal is made between any two players, use this power to discard one token from this sheet. If there are no more tokens on this sheet, you immediately win the game. You may still win the game via the normal method. Citadel. You have the power of fortification. During each player's turn, after destiny is drawn, you may play an attack card from your hand face up next to any planet in any system as a citadel. If a planet with one or more citadels is attacked, after encounter cards are selected but before they are revealed, you may use this power to activate all citadels on the planet. If so, add their combined value to the defense's total for that encounter. If you activate your citadels on a planet and the defense loses the encounter, discard the citadels. If the defense wins or you do not activate the citadels, they stay in place. Dictator. You have the power to command. When you are not the offense, before destiny is chosen, use this power to take the destiny deck, look through it, and choose any card from it. That destiny card is played as though the offense had drawn it. On your turn, or any time you are zapped, the remaining destiny cards are shuffled, and one is dealt randomly. Gambler. You have the power to bluff. After your opponent reveals his or her encounter card, you may use this power to keep yours face down, instead stating what it is, and lying if you like. If your opponent does not challenge your claim, conclude the encounter as if your statement were true, then place your encounter card face down on the bottom of the deck instead of discarding it. If your opponent challenges your claim, reveal your card. If you lied, you lose as many ships to the warp as you had in the encounter. If you told the truth, your opponent loses as many ships as he or she had in the encounter. These lost ships may not be ships involved in the encounter. Afterwards, conclude the encounter normally using the revealed cards. Grudge. You have the power of revenge. As a main player, after alliances are formed, use this power to give a grudge token to each player you invited to ally, but who did not do so. If you win the encounter or make a deal, each player with a grudge token discards it and loses one ship of his choice to the warp. If you lose the encounter or fail to make a deal, each player with a grudge token discards it and loses four ships of his choice to the warp. Lost ships cannot include ships used to ally with the other side. Machine. You have the power of continuity. Your turn is not limited to two encounters. After completing an encounter, whether successful or not, you may use this power to have another encounter as long as you have at least one encounter card left in your hand. Masochist. You have the power to hurt yourself. At the start of any player's regroup phase, before the offense retrieves a ship from the warp, use this power to win the game if you have lost all of your ships. Lost ships include those in the warp, those removed from the game, and those captured by other players. You do not lose this power because of having too few home colonies, and you may still win the game via the normal manner. Tripler. You have the power of thrice. As a main player, after you reveal an attack card, use this power to adjust its value. If the card's value is 10 or less, triple its value. If the card's value is more than 10, divide its value by 3, round it up. Virus. You have the power to multiply. As a main player, after you reveal an attack card in an encounter, use this power to multiply the number of ships you have in the encounter times the value of your card instead of adding. 
Your ally ships are still added to your total as usual. Void. You have the power to eradicate. As a main player, when you win an encounter, use this power to remove the losing side ships from the game rather than sending them to the warp. A player cannot reduce it to fewer ships than the number of foreign colonies needed to win the game. Any eradicated ships that would reduce a player below this number are sent to the warp as normal. Warpish. You have the power of necromancy. As a main player, after you reveal an attack card in an encounter, use this power to add one to your total for each ship, yours or otherwise, in the warp.